guys, I am back with another book related video. I'm Catherine and today I'm going to be talking about Fractured by Karen Slaughter. So let's get into the book. So Fractured is about a character named Will Trent who has gone onto the scene where a mother has killed a murder murderer who murdered her daughter she believes. And Amanda, who is his boss, goes with him. And as you are reading this book, you find out that Will has had some issues with an investigation into the Atlanta Police Department, which involved firing of some of its finest. And it gets a little worse. So, as Will is talking to the mother and one of the detectives, in comes the father who is distraught and he goes upstairs to look at the body that they think that it's his daughter come to find out it is not the daughter it is the best friend and the daughter is missing and so the mother finds out that she didn't kill the murderer so it gets even better by the way this is not spoilers because you find this out pretty much in the first and second chapter of this book. So, <clears throat> and then comes in Phil, Faith Mitchell, who, <laughs> I actually really like her. Um, Faith is a detective in the Atlanta Police Department. She is a female, and she does not like Will at all. Just because Will got her mother fired, she... Uh, Faith's, mom, Faith's mom is was the Atlanta uh, chief, and she didn't get fired. She was forced to retire, and Faith does not like Will for this very reason, but she still works with him on this case, and he kind of uses her as the detective to do all like the dirty work like the paperwork the digging up stuff and all of that and they get into some fights that are kind of or she pushes him a little bit which I kind of like honestly because it even though like this book is kind of serious I like the way Karen kind of wrote Faith in this book um She's just funny. She's a ball buster. She will not put up with any of those crap, which I think is amazing. <clears throat> and it keeps him on his toes. And um, so I really enjoyed her character. I really like Will sometimes. Well, I really like Will, but I like both of them in this one. And so the daughter's missing and Will is holding out hope that they will find her alive. <clears throat> Faith, on the other hand, doesn't think that they will, but she is just as dedicated as well as to finding out what really happened. And they, and you find out some interesting stuff on Faith, which I was really happy with. Uh, well, not really happy with, I mean, the things you find out about her and her kind of like her life, like her early life, like when she was like around 14, 15, was very interesting to say the least, and why she is so tough, I think. It's, I think it's pretty interesting. Um, there's not much I can say. Is there anything that I didn't like about this book? Um, some of the chapters in this book were a little slow. They're a little slow for me, but <clears throat> wasn't so bad. Uh, there's a lot of things I loved about this book. I love the character development. I love that we get to kind of see a different side of Amanda, which is Will's boss, and how she's just, um, she's different. She's very, she's kind of like Faith, but she's a little bit more strict, and she, uh, she's, and she's like Faith, she doesn't take any of Will's crap. She holds him accountable, she pushes him, she does a lot of things. But she's also one of these people who will stand up for well and who also will make sure that her people are well taken care of. 
um, <clears throat> and Amanda was in the first book and she's also in the second book. She's a little bit more in this one. And you find out some interesting things on her, which I'm not going to say because, again, spoiler territory. And I was super, super surprised. And I want you guys to be surprised as well. <clears throat> so, as a rating, I would give this book 4 out of 5. I enjoyed it immensely. I enjoyed kind of the real... So, I could actually give this five 5 out of 5 because of the ending chapter um the ending chapters in this book if at the end chapter faced it talks about the family of emma who was the girl that went missing and it goes into kind of like their day-to-day -day lives and how they're dealing with things and how things have changed for them and how like they've changed. I really enjoyed it just because you, not only with Karen's books, but the reason why I like her so much is it gives you that little extra at the end of the book. Like as soon as you figure out who's, who's done it. And then usually there's that final scene where <clears throat> they're trying to save whoever. Um, with her, you get a little bit more. You get that after. You get a little bit more in the victims or will or just someone so it, the book doesn't just ends. Um, I think that's one of the reasons why I like Lisa Gardner a lot because <clears throat> she just doesn't just end her books. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. So I gave this one four out of four out of five. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. So the next one I'm going to be talking about is Broken. And this one has Sarah Linton, who was in the Grant County series. So I'm going to be talking about that one in my next video. As always, you guys, please like and subscribe to my channel. And you guys have a safe and happy day. Bye.